The 2020 S1000XR is pretty much brand new from the ground up. Add a new engine, a new developed frame and you pretty much have a recipe for a bike that improves on every other facet on the older one. If you're one of those people which has a difficult time choosing between two very different things like the tranquil and relaxing experience of touring the Italian Alps or the adrenaline packed sensation you get when you twist the throttle of a sports bike, well BMW has had your back from 2015 when they introduced the S1000XR. Combining the sporty 4 cylinder engine from the S1000R adding some touring comforts like a proper wind protection and a very civilized and comfortable riding position, the XR has been a favorite among riders which wanted a bit of sporty madness to go with that beautiful touring scenery. But BMW has left the XR mostly unchanged since launch, that is until this year. 2020 brings some of the biggest changes to date for the XR, so let's see what's new. The new 2020 XR has had its engine obviously upgraded. It's still based on the current S1000RR inline 4 engine, but surprisingly without the shift cam variable valve timing system. Power figures have remained identical at 165 horsepower because BMW obviously finds adding more horses boring but they have played around with the torque curve a little and made it more linear which will result in a much better ride and the longer 4th, 5th and 6th gear ratios will reduce noise and improve fuel economy at higher speeds which is where this bike will spend most of its time. So overall just from fiddling around with the engine the new S1000XR should have a more comfortable ride compared to its predecessor. Now to keep their minds sharp, the BMW engineers then moved over to redesigning the frame of the old bike and apart from the 2 kilograms or 4.6 pound decrease in overall weight, they have nothing else to show for it. Speaking of weight, in total BMW has managed to shave 10 kilograms or 22 pounds off when compared to the previous model which is actually quite a feat putting the overall weight number at just 226 kilograms or 498 pounds. Now we all know that BMW is a firm believer in better living through technology and the 2020 XR is no exception to this. When compared with the previous model which only saw the top spec electronics on the higher priced versions, a lot of the electronics on the updated model come part as the standard package. Included in the price you get electronic suspension which is BMW's Dynamic ESA, 4 separate riding modes, dynamic traction control with wheelie control, cornering ABS, BMW's easy to read 6.5 inch TFT display, LED lighting all around and hill start control pro. As far as optionals go, you can spec your bike up with Dynamic ESA Pro which further enhances the electronic suspension with two separate damping modes and automatic load compensation so you don't have to tell your bike if there is a pillion with you or whether you are riding with luggage or not. It basically has like a built-in scale or something. An up and down quick shifter unfortunately is not an optional as well as are the cornering lights and weirdly enough the electronic cruise control. Does the new S1000XR still vibrate through the handlebars? This was the number one complaint from owners of the current models. Their gripe here was that the bike would send a lot of vibrations through the handlebars somewhere around 5000 rpm where a lot of riders would spend their touring time. BMW say they have been careful to address this issue. Firstly, the new redesigned engine should no longer send any vibrations up through the handlebars. Secondly, since the 4th, 5th and 6th gears are all now longer, the engine speed has been lowered by up to 8%. So even if there are lingering engine vibrations, they will not be in the rev range where you spend most of your time. And thirdly, the vibration decoupling has been redesigned and is now using pressed in rubber bushings making it more effective. 
The real test will obviously be when we get to test ride this bike, so make sure you are subscribed to catch that review. As far as color options go, not much choice here. You get a boring grey and a sporty and fast red and white color scheme. As far as new models go, the 2020 S1000XR is the definition of an iterative update. Even if the engine, the frame, the exhaust, the swing arm and other bits and bobs have been reworked from the ground up, as BMW loves to say, the end result is that the bike will still inspire the same sense of sporty touring adventure freedom as the previous model, but it will do it in a lot more refined, civilized way, thanks to the newer changes. Kind of like charming a snake. You can do it, but at the end of the day, it's still a snake. Just how like at the end of the day the XR is still a madman whose only aim in life is speed and power. So how does the new improved XR tickle your fancy? Enough reasons to upgrade from the previous model if you already have one? Let us know in the comments below. Well that's the show everybody. Give it a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And if you think you've learned something new consider subscribing or becoming a Patreon to help us make more of these shows. Cheers and I'll see you on the next one.